SIU baseball needed some good news this week and they got it. And this young man came through. Collegiate baseball named Evan Martin, freshman All-American. If you would have told me February 14th when we stepped on the field at Jackson State that I was going to be a freshman All-American, I would have probably looked at you and been like, I'm just trying to get in the starting lineup. But, you know, it. as soon as I got that text, you know, I came upstairs and I told my mom and she freaked out. And as soon as she kind of freaked out, it kind of settled in and I understood how how big it was. SIU's Evan Martin finished with a 429 batting average. Ended the year going 8 for 13. Inside the batter's box, he's seeing the baseball well. Every time I go up there, I'm expecting to hit the ball hard, get a barrel on it. When the season started, there was something special about the season. And even though I wasn't in the lineup, every day during batting practice, I was taking the best batting practice I've ever taken in my life. So I just knew when my name was going to get called that I'd be prepared to go up there and help the team work. Martin also walked more than he struck out. His at-bats were productive. That baseball prepares you for life is, you know, you're going to fail a lot more than you're going to succeed. And, you know, you go out there and if you're able to handle going up there and squaring up a 90 mile an hour fastball three times in a night and going 0 for 3, and then going home and doing all your homework and getting up and having the same attitude the next day, I think you're going to be pretty successful in life. And a redshirt year also helped with Evan's development. I think it made the biggest difference in my career. I mean, I couldn't tell you the exact thing that just sent me over and made me ready to play this year. But, you know, I was able to, to take a step back and actually swallow my pride and be like, OK, I wasn't good enough. You know, and a lot of athletes have trouble being able to be honest with themselves and be like, I wasn't ready. I'm not ready to play. And I can tell you that last year I wasn't ready to step on that field and compete at the level that uh, the coaches would have wanted me to. And, you know, I was able to um, just watch pitchers, watch pitching tendencies, how pitchers at the Division One level are compared to what I'd seen in high school and, you know, get a lot stronger. I mean, it's just an abundance of so many things that just allowed me to kind of bring my game together and uh, become a more complete player. Since the season has ended, the Saluki outfielder has packed on some muscle. 175 pounds wasn't where I wanted to be at. And now I'm up to 195, which is a ridiculous jump. But I was just fortunate to uh, come home here in St. Louis. And I had a really nice home gym during quarantine. And I had our shortstop, Nick Neville, here to push me for the most of the time. And, you know, we just ate a lot of food, lifted heavy weights, and got after it. So hopefully I'll be even better than I was this past year. And Hopefully we can bring this team to the NBC championship. Last week, a former teammate used an inappropriate racial slur. It went viral on social media. So where is the team morale? As far as the team, I'd be lying to you if I told you we didn't take a little bit of a hit. You know, it was, it was definitely uh, not a great feeling to wake up and see what was going on and listen to what everyone uh, from the athletic department had to say. And, you know, um, for me personally, I think I speak for all of my teammates when I say that, uh, you know, this situation doesn't define us. The redshirt freshman looks to become a team leader come next season. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think that uh, I'd be lying if I didn't say that I have a, a, really, a really important voice for our team. And, you know, being the only African-American player on our team uh, now, I, I just feel as though that it's my responsibility to take care of those 28 other guys that, you know, were affected by uh, this situation and are going to receive um, hate for it. None of those guys deserve to be bashed for what happened. And I think that we're going to come out of this a lot better. And hopefully this world as a whole will find some peace and find some resolve in this situation.